Hi gang, Bob. I told you I'd be back. And much to your misfortune, I am. Anyhow, here's uh, here's how I envision mounting this uh, thing that I uh, the magnetic rod antenna that I have in the uh, in the referenced uh, video. Look down below at the link, and you'll see it. Um, this is the top of a cabinet. It's going to be a one, a one U, uh, inch and a inch and three quarter high chassis, like a lot of my other projects. Uh, so I decided I'm going to do it. I'm going to build it right into the top, since this this thing is going to be. Uh, I don't want it separate. I want everything self-contained. Um, if this thing does go into a rack, it is a rack mount chassis. It'll be a wooden cabinet. And it'll be the top of the cabinet, so I could just reach over here and turn it. I might get fancy and put a motor on it, but don't hold your breath. Uh, first time around, we want to see how well this works. I'm very happy with the performance. I did some more testing this morning, and uh, looks like it's working pretty well. Um, so what's missing up here? Here's a T, a PVC T. This is all three-quarter uh, PVC pipe. Uh... Here's the rod. Uh, you can remember from the old, uh, the other video from a few days ago. This, uh, we're going to cut some uh, four and a half inch pieces of PVC pipe. Uh, eight inch, it's an eight inch rod, so uh, we're going to cut four and a half inches per side, put it on each end so we have a nice T handle thing there. And, uh, I don't know. I, I may uh, print out a plate for the top that has the uh, uh, that'll be on a, a plastic, a round plastic piece about eight inches in diameter, go all the way around with a compass rose uh, printed on it, so that you can turn this thing. And if this is in your cabinet at home, you would turn the rose to, to uh, north and uh, leave it there. That way, when you turn this, you have a reference. I may do that. I may not. I don't know. Uh, how I've been using this is I just tune it for the greatest amount of fire in the wire. And uh, that's good enough for me. And for doing nulls, same thing, but 90 degrees off. Um, also, inside here, let me show you how we did this. Uh, let's see if we can see this here. Try to set it up this way. Fix the lighting for you. Um, I've got a hose clamp on here. This is hard. I'm going to have to take this apart and show you. A hose clamp and a bearing washer holding it. I'm going to have to put a screw through here real close to this washer that comes straight out. That will hit this clamp as it rotates so you don't actually get all you need is 180 degrees you don't need 360 and we don't want to spin it so much that we break the wires uh, that's the last thing we wanted all right hang on let me take this apart here give me about uh three shakes of a dead dog's tail i'll be right back ah that was more than a dead dog's tail huh anyhow here is uh <laughs> We're not getting focused at all. Stand by. Well, I don't know if that's any better. I tried uh, cleaning the lens. This is really, really not good. All right. Anyhow, here's the T. And this is the part that's going to have the uh, the two four-inch. Uh, Pieces of uh, three-quarter inch PVC coming off. I don't know what I'm going to use for caps. I don't want to make them permanent. I may just get some of those press-on polyethylene uh, pipe protector caps so you could just pop them off if you have to. Uh, bearing washers, these are sort of round that fit over, uh, as you saw in the beginning, that fit over the, uh, the spigot on the uh, T, both of them. Here's a piece of uh, a T 
I just took a T for the collar and I just cut the end off, cut it off right there. Because that'll fit the OD of the pipe. Cut it off, polish it up inside, and then split it with a hacksaw. And get yourself a uh, hose clamp of appropriate size. Focus, damn it. It's not even afraid of me. I don't know. Christmas Eve. Funny things happen on Christmas Eve. And the antenna. Uh, since you last saw it, I've dressed it a little bit. Uh, I've got the uh, the pickup coil. This is all silicone wire. I wanted some nice, flexible stuff. And uh, we got that. And uh, when you do this, when you're running the... Uh, the wires from the windings, run them over to one side, put a, a wrap of uh, uh, paper tape on here or something. You don't want the uh, raw wire touching the uh, ferrite material. Do the soldering and then put another wrap over it and that all... Oh, man. What is going on? Anyhow. If I have to do this over, I will. I hope this suffices. But you'll get the idea. So there's the four leads. Uh, I've got green and white for the pickup coil, which is the very tip here, the four or five turns out here. And here's a 330 or 325 microhenry uh, winding here, which is the yellow and blue. So that's ready to go. Two washers that fit the OD of the pipe. The clamp fits the OD of the pipe with the slit in it. Hose clamp. Oh, by the way, these holes are 7 8 I use the 7 8 hole saw. There's the, uh, the cabinet. And that fits in nice. 7 8 of an inch. So, all right. I'm going to continue with this after Christmas. And uh, now it's focusing. You son of a reindeer. Look at that. Okay. Now we <laughs> Welcome to Bob's world. Yeah, my humor comes from somewhere. I guess it's called survival. All right, there's the parts again. They just get a better look at it. Let's let's take another look at this uh assemble again. Hang in there. 3 seconds this time. A dead cat's tail. <laughs> All right. There we go. There it is assembled uh, with the <laughs> the clamp in place. Take the clamp off, and you can see the, uh, the split collar. This washer is known. That's actually a bearing surface. I'm not going to glue it down. It's going to be free to turn, so it could rub against the top of the inside of the cabinet or the uh, the clamp sleeve. Um, it's called a floating, equipoised floating sleeve bearing. Equipoised meaning it can turn whatever way it wants. It is a bearing of sorts, because uh, whenever it wants to move it will, whenever it don't it won't. Um, it's equipoised in that it sees about the same friction from the case surface or the clamp, which means as you turn this it may or may not turn with you, but who cares, it's absorbing all the friction. And uh, and there you go. You're not going to be wearing a groove around the inside here. Likewise with the top. Here, equal poise floating sleeve bearing. Or bushing if you want to be really, really correct. All right. That's it. I finally, finally got focus here. Damn it. This is the finished thing again. Now you can see the wires a little better. Again, make sure you wrap tape first. Then solder to the... Uh, Tinsel wires, and then, uh, well, that's dating me, huh? Tinsel wires. Uh, the coil wires, and I'm using, like I said, if you have some around, this uh, silicone uh, instrument, uh, it's a high-temperature instrument uh, wire. I believe it's 24, 26 gauge. Really good stuff, and it'll take a lot of twisting. It won't, uh, it's got very fine conductors inside, so. All right. That's it, Bob, in one KPR, dub, 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 bobsamerica.com. Uh, 
if you want to keep track of this thing, send me some notes. Tell me what you think. Maybe you got some ideas that haven't popped into my little brain yet. And uh, hit the thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you like it. All that jazz. Hey, have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Whatever holiday you're celebrating, enjoy. And hey, guys, stay safe, okay? A damn fine show. Bye-bye.